Greetings, everyone. I, it's a beautiful day in my neighborhood, and I hope it's a beautiful day in yours. We just had the opportunity to practice patience, forgiveness, and flexibility, also ex extending unconditional love to technology. Life is a series of learning experiences. So we had a good one this morning. I hope you keep smiling, keep bouncing, and keep loving every day. So I am Nancy Havera, Spring Forest Qigong Certified Practice Group Leader, Certified Trainer, and Legacy Master Healer. Actually, I'm a Certified Healer as well. And today we are here to practice everyday Qigong. I am going to do two exercises. It will be recorded for about 30 minutes, but it's not in sync with the, the regular time. So thank you for your forgiveness and your flexibility. The first exercise that we're going to do is cloud hands, but I'm going to introduce it from a little bit different perspective. I've done this in a couple of groups and it's been well received. And the second exercise is an exercise that it is that is not widely known that Master Lin presented briefly in a healing connection call and Rong Li has explained in detail to us in Chi Circle Call. So I am sharing this with you shortly. Before I forget, I want to introduce next week's leader. And this is Hannah Hong from California. She is a beautiful, wonderful, positive person. She radiates positive messages and chi. And I know you will enjoy the experience that she brings next week. And I, she and I have met very briefly that we are looking forward to a day when we can sit down and have a longer conversation. So let's begin by bouncing, detoxifying ourselves, uh, start with a smile on your face, start my internal love engine, breathe in through your nose. I have to do the recording thing again. This is a very, um, a call that we need to be, have a lot of flexibility on. So we're bouncing, smiling, breathing in through our noses and out through our mouths. And this is a very detoxifying exercise. And then especially in North America, we need to detoxify a lot with the forest fires and the air quality. So let's just keep bouncing, breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth, connecting with the magnetic field of earth and just feeling how good you feel when you do this. And then let's raise our hands above our heads, let your hands flop at the wrists, opening all sorts of energy channels along the wrists that connect to the, the lungs and the kidneys, particularly the heart. And it also, this particular posture opens up all the channels in your head. So if you're feeling any kind of congestion in your head, noticing any kind of congestion, in your nose, in your eyes, in your ears, in your mouth, in your brain. This is the exercise to do, breathing in through your mouth and out through your nose. And you can do this for a 30 second break, chi break throughout the day. Okay, now slowly, 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 do this very slowly. Lower your hands and feel the chi as you do this. This is very powerful, lowering slowly, mindfully. Noticing. Okay, just bring your hands to your sides now. And we are going to continue with activation of the chi, tapping under our eyes, the beginning of the stomach points nine times. Love, 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 peace, 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 joy, 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 inner eyebrow points. Love, 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 joy, 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 peace, peace, peace. Cup the top of your head. Love, 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 joy, joy, joy. Peace, 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 base, love, 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 joy, 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 peace, peace, peace. Massage C7 at the base of your neck. Just do this nine times on your own count. And then we're going to clap, activating the heart energy channels. Love, 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 joy, 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 peace, peace, peace. Inner left elbow for lung energy channels. Love, 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 joy, 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 peace, 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 right? Love, love, love. Joy, 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 peace, peace, peace. Left arm tip, love, love, love. Joy, 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 peace, peace, peace. More heart chin, love, love, love. Joy, 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 peace, peace, peace. Now with an open fist, what an open fist looks like. 
tap that tailbone, sacrum. Bend over slightly as you do this. Just opens the flow of chi from the lower body to the upper body, forming fists with the thumbs on the inside, tap those hip joints where the dimple is. And then cup the fronts of your knees. Love, 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 joy, 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 peace, 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 back. Love, 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 joy, 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 peace, 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 sides, left. Love, 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 joy, 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 peace, 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 right. Love, 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 joy, 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 peace, peace, peace. Now, just take one slow, deep, easy breath and scan your body quickly. Notice how the chi is activated. Notice how it feels. This is key. How does it feel? Bring your hands together in prayer formation. Tips of fingers are gently pressed together. There is a space between your palms. You are connecting your heart energy channels by doing this. And drop your shoulders. Continue to smile to the tip of your tongue on the roof of your mouth, connecting the front and the back energy channel. Notice that your spine is straight as is comfortably possible. Song. Like a pine tree, effortlessly and gracefully reaching from earth to heaven. This is called song. 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 Focus on your lower dantian and see a soft, gentle light there. See, feel, imagine, pretend it is there. Whether you see it or feel it, it is there. Gently bring it up into your middle dot. That soft, gentle light is shining there so lovingly. Your middle dot is in the middle of your body, just below the bottom of your heart. Feel it, see it, know that it is there. And say the password in your mind as I say it out loud. I am in the universe. The universe is in me. The universe and I come together as one. Feel the power of these words. They are not just words. They are filled with chi. Feel the peace. Feel the quietness. Feel the stillness. Now call on your master's energy. A master is any energy form that guides, teaches, and inspires and raises our vibrational frequency. Feel that energy chi field coming to you and merging with you. How does that feel? How does it feel in your spine, in your heart center, in your fingertips, the bottom of your feet? How does it feel to you? Now, using your yi, the voice of your heart, set your intention. What do you wish to achieve with this practice today? And just know that in the right time, your intention will be manifested. The universe is listening to you and loving you. Your master is guiding you. Now just bring your hands down to your sides for a moment and just pause, feeling yourself in the emptiness between being and not being, between knowing and not knowing, between feeling and not feeling. And if you don't have any sensation about this or any thoughts, that's perfectly all right. The emptiness is always with us, supporting us. And we're going to begin cloud hands. Breathe at your own pace. With either hand, reach out and imagine, visualize that you're grabbing clouds from the ends of the universe and bringing them into your heart center and wrapping them around you. Then reach out with the other hand, imagining reaching to the ends of the universe and just grasping the cloud gently, bringing it to you, filling you up, filling your heart, your body, your mind, your soul with this 
beautiful cloud energy. Breathe at your own pace. Move at your own pace. But do it as slowly and gently as possible. We are slowing down. We are noticing, we are observing, we are being mindful of ourselves as chi beings doing this exercise. This exercise helps our powers of visualization, which helps us with distance healing. It opens our, the channel of our heart, our lungs, our kidneys, our large intestines. Play with this exercise. Imagine that your hands can smell the light that you're bringing in. You're feeling the clouds too. Are they fluffy? Are they heavy? Are they light? Are they moist? Are they a little bit drier? Feel the clouds. How do they feel to you? And you might even have a sense of hearing the clouds. What messages are they giving to you? Are they giving to you music? Have you ever sent love to a cloud and received it back? Try it sometime. It's a wonderful experience. And you maybe even taste the energy, the chi of the cloud. How does that taste to you? Is it fresh? Does it revive you? Does it renew you? Now we're going to play. We're going to add an additional element of play as we do this exercise. We're going to work in the five elements. So just imagine as you reach either hand out that the cloud that you're collecting at this moment has a very gentle, beautiful, subtle green tint. That it's a green, a happy green. And it can be any shade of green, it can be deeper, it can be more subtle. Play with this. And as you bring this green cloud into you, feel happy. Feel the happiness, the gift of the green, the gift of the cloud. And notice how this happiness transforms any anger, any aches and pains, any illnesses in your body, opening the liver the gallbladder, your eyes, your tendons, and your ligaments as we do this. And just notice how you are feeling with this green cloud. Now gently, gently, we are going to shift our focus to bringing in pink clouds. Or if you want to experiment, I think most of us have seen clouds that are red at sunsets or sunrises. Maybe you want to collect some of those clouds, bringing them into you. Pink or red, deep or subtle, whatever comes to you is right. It's always good, better, best. Be that inner child and play with this energy. Have fun bringing this into your heart, feeling the gift of joyfulness with that red energy of it fills you up, transforming hatred and overreaction in any part of your body, in your mind, in your emotions, in your spirit, in your soul, transforming so you feel completely free and your heart is open, open, open. Your small intestines are open. Your veins and arteries are open. Every single blood cell is open and joyful. You feel, you feel this joyful deep within you. And we could just stand here doing this for hours, but we have some time constraints. So we are shifting now into the color yellow. Whatever color yellow comes to you, maybe deep, it may be subtle. I think we've all seen yellow clouds. They're so beautiful. Bring them into you gently and slowly. Feeling so peaceful as you do this. So peaceful. And noticing, observe that any extra energy you don't need is transformed into yellow butterflies. 
that shoot instantaneously to the ends of the universe. You can do this with all the colors. And here we are transforming worry and overthinking, anxiety and stress. I had a little bit of overthinking this morning. So as I drove to the library in Lewiston in central Illinois, I worked with the yellow of the sunbeams, the yellow of the goldfinch, some yellow flowers along the side of the road, feeling so peaceful, opening the stomach, the spleen, the pancreas, opening the muscles and the joints. Just notice how good that feels. And sometimes these areas just pop open and it just, you're, you're astonished. But sometimes it takes time, be patient, be flexible, we, be forgiving. We've had that opportunity already today. Now we're shifting into the color white. Remember, white is not flat. It is multidimensional and holds all the colors of the rainbow. So we're focusing on white primarily. But there's so many different possibilities for white. It's a little bit easier to do this because most clouds that we see in the sky are white, just bringing them in, purifying us with its beauty, opening the lungs, the large intestines, all of the channels of the Skin, the nose, the sinuses, the throat. I can feel my nose and sinuses opening up, open, 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 giving us the gift of contentment, transforming grief, depression, doubt, and denial, aches and pains, illnesses into white butterflies that shoot to the ends of the universe instantaneously. And then finally, we're moving into clouds that are lavender, have a bluish tint. Again, you can go into deep colors or subtle colors, whatever you're most comfortable with, whatever comes to mind, always good, better, best, bringing that lavender energy into your body with the gift of gratitude, not only are we giving gratitude for this exercise? But we are receiving gratitude from the universe, from our masters, from our ancestors, from our teachers. How beautiful does that feel? Opening the kidney, the bones and bone marrow, the brain and the spine, the ears, the bladder and the reproductive organs. Notice how that feels. We are so grateful, so grateful, transforming fear into blue or lavender butterflies. We actually have little lavender butterflies where we live, shooting to the ends of the universe, carrying all that extra energy we don't need. And notice how gentle it is. Okay, let's do three more breaths and then we're going into our second exercise. Okay, just bring your hands down and pause for a moment. Notice, observe, be mindful of whatever you received doing this exercise. Whatever it was, it's wonderful. Now we're going to do a hand exercise. Master Lynn mentioned this in a healing connection call when somebody asked about trigger fingers. And he said, trigger fingers come from uh, blockages in the spleen and the liver. But this exercise also has many ben other benefits. I'm going to review them shortly. So you start with your palms up and then you slowly and gently fold your fingers in starting with the index finger and make a fist. Then flip your hands, open your hands again. And then slowly and gently make another fist, but you start with the little finger to make the fist and turn the hands over. Open the hands, index finger, it's like the petals of a flower. Come together in a fist, turn the hands, open them, palm down, make. Another fist, starting with the little finger. 
turn, palms up, fingers in, turn, palms down, starting with a little finger, like the petals of a flower. Now you can do this very slowly and mindfully as I am doing right now, but I have found that as I practice this, I start going very fast. So I'm just gonna go faster as I'm talking to you. You can go slowly, fast, good, better, best, whatever your body tells you to do. I often do this exercise when I'm walking. I don't recommend that you do it when you're driving. I was walking with a dear friend fairly recently and I was just doing this automatically. And she said, what on earth are you doing? So I explained it to her slowly and I explained the benefits and she started doing it too. So this is a wonderful activity that you can use to teach other people. So maybe you're waiting in line or waiting um, for an appointment. This is a good little exercise to do. So what does it do besides help with trigger fingers? It opens all the yin energy channels on the inside of the arm which are also heart, excuse me, lung energy channels. And it opens the yang energy channels on the outside of the arm, which are the heart energy channel. It helps people who have Alzheimer's, but it also helps prevent Alzheimer's because it helps us with memory and cognitive skills. It helps our hearts continue to be healthy. But if we've had any heart issues, it helps us to recover from these. So it helps uh, prevent strokes, but if we've had a stroke, it helps us to recover from a stroke. There are six energy channels in our hands. And so it's very important to do this exercise. It opens the heart channels. It opens the lung channels. It opens the immune system channels. It opens the pancreas channels. So you can see how wonderful this little exercise is. Okay, I'm gonna do it slowly again. My hands are palms up, fingers come in, curling, squeeze, turn, palms down, fingers come in, squeeze, turn. It's also good for arthritis opening all the channels in your hand. See how easy it is to do? So that is it for exercises today. I thank you so much for joining me. It is time for us to harvest the chi now. Bring your attention back to your middle dantian and see that soft, gentle light that we started with has become exponentially bigger and brighter and stronger. We have been collecting chi with this exercise. So at this point, let us give thanks for everything that made this practice possible. For the universe, for our masters, for our ancestors, for the ancient Chinese scientists that developed Qigong, for the modern teachers who have interpreted it so that we can understand it and use it in our everyday lives very quickly and easily, not only to help ourselves, but to help others as well. And thank this group, thank yourself, and thank Spring Forest Qigong. Now slowly and gently bring that light down to your lower Dantian and looking down from above, see it spin, spin clockwise, spin, 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 spin. We are completely Pressing the chi that we have collected. We are harvesting the chi into a dawn, an energy pill that we tuck deep inside behind our navel. It's always with us. We cultivate it there in our lower dantian. We, we store it and we nurture it. And it's there to support us whenever we need it. Isn't that a beautiful gift? So let's rub our palms together now. And, do, and take a couple of deep breaths as you're doing this. We're bringing ourselves back into our everyday lives. 
But the big thing is that we have changed. We are different people than we were 30 minutes ago. Now, gently massage your face, starting fingertips of the chin, going up the sides of your nose to the forehead, coming down around the sides of your face, giving yourself a loving full body massage, tracing a heart. Then massage your ears from the top to the bottom, pulling on the earlobes. This is another full body massage and pulling on your earlobes helps with longevity. And then extend your left arm and cup from the shoulder to the wrist, inside, outside, inside, outside, harvesting the cheek and the lungs and the heart. Go to the right side, lungs, heart, cupping. We are cupping, not slapping. And then cup from the collarbone down to the bottom of the torso. Then interlace your fingers. This is one of my very favorite exercises. And massage that lower dantian, go from right to left. This strengthens the lower dantian, strengthens the kidneys, the spine, the immune system. That's good for so many things. It helps us to detoxify from long-term COVID. Okay. And then let's tap the tailbone again. Give a little cupping to the kidneys. And then I invite you to come up on your toes and gently down on your heels. Do it gently, do not drop, gently. This helps with bone density, it aligns the spine, helps with balance and helps with memory. So it's good for so many things. Every single one of these little closing exercises has so many benefits. We would just be talking about one exercise and the benefits for 30 minutes. So we hit the highlights. So thank you all. Thank you all with all my heart for a wonderful, joyful, fun-filled practice in which we all learned as we went along. I love you. Keep showing up, keep smiling, keep practicing. Until next time.